Hey, what's up, everybody? Kim Klasik here. So a lot of people are talking about Patrice Collier, the founder of Black Lives Matter. She has been caught red-handed with her hand in the cookie drawer. That's right. She is now a millionaire. This is a self-proclaimed Marxist. She's now a millionaire based off of what? Capitalism. And is she getting money back to charity? Apparently not. So she is now being investigated, and rightfully so. Um, apparently, local chapters of Black Lives Matter movement has not been receiving any of the money that's been donated to BLM. And this is a lot of money. So $90 million so far has been donated to BLM. Apparently, local chapters aren't seeing any of it. But Patrice Collier bought a $1.4 million house in Malibu, California. Now, this is basically a predominantly white neighborhood, so much so 0.04% is actually makes up the black population. That's interesting. Yeah, it should be, because this is a woman that talks about uplifting the black community, that talks about black people need so much more funding, resources, and a lot of times that is true. But she has done nothing to help out in these situations. She's actually taken money that a lot of people, like celebrities that donated to BLM, such as Justin Timberlake, has donated millions of dollars, and they think that this money is somehow benefiting the black community. Now, we all remember the story of Michael Brown. Uh, he was shot and killed in Ferguson, Missouri. There were lots of riots and looting that happened after that, and a lot of that was incited by Black Lives Matter. Now, again, this is where billions of dollars of damage to small businesses across the country happened uh, during these riots. And do you think that Black Lives Matter helped out and helped any small business rebuild all those business owners that lost their livelihood? Absolutely not. She took the money for herself. Now, if people still donate to Black Lives Matter after this, you know, they kind of get what they get because <laughs> unfortunately, uh, like myself and many of you out there, we always knew it was a race hustle, it was a scam. Um, it just continues to prove so. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, this is someone that now has come out. Her statement is she purchased these homes um, to invest in her family. Well, that's interesting. Why not invest in a black community instead of just going to pay a mortgage in a white neighborhood? But that's what she chose to do. Now, a lot of people are talking about the fact that this story has been censored and suppressed on Facebook, um, Twitter as well. Some people are being suspended for sharing it. Again, big tech has their hands on everything, which is absolutely dangerous. So we'll all continue to watch. Unfortunately, there's so many things here that we can't actually do, but hopefully members of Congress will get involved and take some action here. We need to figure out what we can do as we watch basically our voices, uh, our freedom of speech, and, and everything that we say and do uh, being determined whether or not, you know, by the social media gurus, if, it's determined by them if we can actually, you know, express our true feelings anymore. This is a story where it's factual. Why would Facebook suppress a factual story? We're the fact checkers. So we'll continue to watch.